Hi, I'm Fergus March. Let's start the week with some good news. IRENA, the International Renewable Energy Agency, has shown in a new study that renewable energy now provides 6.5 million people with jobs around the world. They attribute this in part to the surge in demand for solar PV recently in China and Japan. Biofuels are renewable's second biggest employer, with Brazil leading the way there, and wind comes in third, with onshore making the most jobs in Canada and offshore doing the business in the UK and Germany. Giving a further hopeful boost to solar PV is the National Renewable Energy Laboratory in the US, who have formed a working group named Banking on Solar, whose aim is to reduce barriers to entry for banks looking to invest in PV. It strikes me that big investors finding out that solar can be a safe, steady investment might turn the tide in attitudes towards renewable energy on a huge scale. It will, after all, be money, not ecology, which will turn conservative heads. Speaking of which, President Obama had a little dig at Congress's sluggishness over solar while expatiating on its merits at a recent public appearance in Mountain View, California, on Friday. Prices keep coming down. Manufacturers keep getting more innovative and more jobs are created. The so last year jobs in the solar industry increased by 20%. But we got more work to do and I want to work with Congress to do it. Unfortunately, Congress has not always been as visionary on these issues as we would like. We're producing more traditional energy, but we're also becoming a leader in the energy sources of the future. His timing was impeccable, as the White House has just connected its long-awaited solar panels. Spokespeople for the most famous address in the world couldn't give away any details on the installation, but were proud of the message it sent out to America. Here's U.S. Energy Secretary Ernest Moniz talking about the White House's newfound efficiency. The solar panels in the White House, I think, are, are a really important message that solar is here, we, we are doing it, we can do a lot more. Uh, I am very bullish uh, on the future of, of solar energy uh, as a key part of our clean energy future. Clean energy revolution is not something for the, for the distant future. Uh, it's happening right now and uh, we want to we capture that. And that's about it for today, but before I go I'd like to leave you with news that UK homes will begin to be powered by shale gas from late 2015 according to The Telegraph. Now, the only fracking that's been carried out in Britain so far was in 2011 by Quadrilla, and it was shut down for causing earthquakes. Stop the madness, and have a good week. See you tomorrow.